Garrett, winning goaltender of the year in the American Hockey League, uh, seems like a, a nice honor at the end of the year, but how much hard work went into it? Uh, it really started in September, you know, uh, I guess even in the summer, just the things that I was doing to prepare for the season. And once I got back to Toronto, being able to work with Piero Greco every day, uh, obviously goes a long way towards making sure that your game's where you want it to be. Uh, I have him to thank for, for everything. And Can you credit a guy like Calvin Pickard in, in your success this year? Yeah, and, and obviously he's uh, the, you know, the name that I really wanted to mention in this interview. Uh, I've had a really great year, but he's had a great year too, going out there every night. And, and that makes your job a whole lot easier when, when you know you can take care of your business and your partner's going to take care of his too. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'd be here without the help that I've gotten from him this year. You look at around at this team and, and what it's done in front of you as well. You know, the goals against is, is just so low, and, and you know you guys have a lot to do with it. The the guys out front as well. Yeah, and I, I think that you know you can't win a an award like this without a full team commitment to defense and and to playing the right way on a nightly basis. You know I can I can count on you know one hand the amount of times we've truly been in a run and gun hockey game this year and uh, obviously when we're committed to our structure and uh, committed to, to staying above guys and playing defense um, it limits the amount of chances that me and Calvin will face. You find out here after practice and uh, that uh, you win this award who gets the phone call next? Uh, I think I'll call my parents uh, just to just to you know let them know that it's been a it's been a long year, but their support's been appreciated even from a distance. And uh, you know, when I was talking crazy at home in August about how I was going to have a have a killer year this year, uh, they never doubted me once.